So in this video, we're going to build a landing page for our transaction list growth system. So we're logged into the system here. Uh, and we're going to go pick our domain. I'm just going to use the main office domain here. You'll choose your domain, whatever you want to build the landing page on. We'll click start building like so. And then let's pull down here to focus our options up at the top right. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a simple page that offers the actual page that has your transactions on it. So remembering back to one of the last few videos where we created a custom page or we created a Google Doc, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get that URL for that page that we created. So when we go back into the uh, system here, we go to Web and IDX, Website Content, and over on the left we have our custom pages. And I can grab the link over in this column here. I can either just click on it or I should be able to right click and copy. Well, I'll click on it to open it up. I could also just copy right here actually. But I'll right click to open it up and here's the page and then I'll copy the URL out of my browser. So this is what I need. And the reason I need this when I go to build the landing page is because in just a minute here we're going to need to build the redirect page URL that the person goes to after they submit their info. So I'm in this middle box here. I'm going to paste that in first. So the flow is they come to this page from our traffic source, which we'll talk about in future videos. They opt in here and then they go to that page with the transactions on it. Okay, so let's go back here to the left up where it says hashtag and I'm going to give this a hashtag which I'm going to call a Gulfport transactions. Now you can call this whatever you want um, but it's important to remember what this hashtag is because we're going to build automations on it. So you can keep that and then, you know, remember what you named the hashtag. Uh, you can also opt into the page later and see what the, the test lead that you submit, see what hashtag is assigned. But you're going to need this hashtag it's going to trigger your automated follow-ups. Our submit button text, that's the orange button down here at the right, we can, we can um, do something like see the transactions now or see the list now those are kind of my favorite buttons um, wording to use on buttons is like see the thing now so see the transactions now um, right here you see a checkbox for require phone I'm not a huge fan of requiring phone you can if you want but what I found is that you end up getting a lot of phony uh, phone numbers anyway it suppresses the overall opt-in rate and you're good just leaving it optional some people will give you the phone number and if they give you the phone number when it's optional because they're really giving you the right phone number. Um, for background here, things get a little interesting. So you can use one of the pre-built backgrounds in the system. I believe there are a few in here. Let me try to remember um, that would be relevant. So if I do the home value report one, that's kind of relevant, right? It's just generic. Uh, it's kind of dark in the background. Uh, you can pick any one you want. Uh, I am kind of a fan of making it relevant to the actual uh, area that you're doing the transactions in. So not to put you on too much of a tangent, but you could get a URL, background image URL. If we go back here where it says custom background, and you can create an image URL <clears throat> for, say, the map view of that area. So uh, I'm going to do that here and take a screenshot. And this is totally optional. Don't let this slow you down. Uh, what you see me doing right here. I take a screenshot of the area, save the image, and then I can create a URL for that image by uploading it somewhere uh, onto a server. And it, kind of a quick hack for this would be to use the KV Core custom page. I believe this trick will still work. So I can temporarily upload it. So I'm going in back into the custom page or any custom page or blog, so, uh, blog page that I have on my site. Browse for an image. I'm going to upload this. And you see this right here? It gives me a URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this back out without actually adding that image to the page. But I've copied the URL to my clipboard on my computer. And now I can paste it in and click Save URL. And now you should be able to see in the background of my screen, you can actually see the area in the back. So that's just a little trick, a little hack. You don't have to have to do this, um, but I like going on that little tangent because it's a little fun. Now we're going to get to the meat of the page, the most important part, and the most important part of any page that you're sending traffic to is the words. It's not the way it looks, contrary to popular belief. It does not look need to look pretty. It doesn't even need to have your logo on it in a lot of cases. Uh, you may need to have your logo for compliance reasons, but your you and how you look does not matter here. What matters is the words. 
And uh, before I start to write this, keep in mind that a lot of people are going to experience this page by coming from a traffic source and they're going to make a split second decision. Do I want to give you contact info or not? That's the decision they're making. So the thing that you're offering needs to be uh, congruent to the ad that they clicked on. It needs to be something they're interested in and it needs to most importantly not be distracted away from by other elements on your page. So I'm kind of setting this up and we're going to go ahead and write this out. So we're just going to do Gulfport, Florida real estate sold transactions. And then our second line, I'm going to click in here and I'll say, uh, see the most recent uh, published sale prices and and get a weekly email update of any new uh, sold prices uh, of uh, prices of homes your neighbors are selling. Now I've written this page personally many, many times in different ways, so I always seem to write it a little bit differently. Um, this main headline is the most important part, it just hits them over the head what it is, and then here I try to explain what they're going to get. Um, if this bombs or doesn't work, I might go back and change the subheadline, but in general this sort of messaging should work. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that additional clutter that I just mentioned. I do not like these extra bullet points. You need to be a very good copywriter uh, to continue to sell and not confuse. And if you're going to make people read a lot of extra stuff, you increase the chances that they're just going to vacate the page. So as few words as possible uh, is best. So this is just Gulfport, Florida Real Estate, sold transactions, see the most recent published sale prices, and get a weekly email update of, of uh, and I'm even going to make this shorter, get a weekly email update of prices of homes your neighbors of published sold prices of homes your neighbors neighbors are selling something like that okay so that should be okay i'm checking for typos and then you'll see under here see where it says if you enter your cell number we promise to only send interesting stuff if you want to increase your cell phone uh optional ratio you can do something like this if you enter your cell number we will um text you a link that lets you you see what a buyer might pay for your Gulfport property in today's market. So we're giving a reason why, right? All marketing is about reason why. Um, so we're giving them a reason why they might give the cell phone, all right? Uh, but most people are just going to give the email, and the email is fine for now. What we're trying to do is just build a database of homeowners in our area that we can follow up on, send interesting stuff to over time so that this eventually leads to them being attracted to us uh, in a way that causes conversations and listing appointments. So uh, I've written out my page. This is looking okay to me. I'm just giving it another quick look. Uh, if you want to change your lead type up here to seller, I kind of glanced over that part. Honestly, it's not that important. Um, you can leave that, but you can change that type to seller. And now I'm going to click save. It's going to give me a warning that I can't edit this in the future. And then I'm going to have my URL right here that I'm going to be driving traffic to. So you can save that URL somewhere safe uh, and also know that um, you can actually see your past landing pages under the lead engine section. So it should show up here. You can see I can always come back to the page right here and view that like so and get my link later when I need it. Um, let's just, before I close out this video, this one's getting a little long, but I just want to be thorough here. I just want to show you the experience now. So somebody comes off of an ad. Um, we'll do Ryan Test at InsideRealEstate.com as the email. Uh, no phone number. We'll see the transactions now. And what this will do is it'll redirect the person to that list of transactions, uh, and it will also create a contact in your database with that hashtag. So if I go to my contacts, let's hope this worked properly. And we'll see here that it uh, did in fact work. Uh, you might want to test this yourself once you're done making the page. We can see the test lead came in with Gulfport transactions as the hashtag right here. So go ahead and create your lead capture page for your transactions list offer now, and we'll see you in future videos.